Greetings from Israel. Shalom from Jerusalem, Jane. I want to start by reading something for you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and I will make your name great. You shall be a blessing. I will bless those that bless you. I will curse those that curses you. And through you, all people shall be blessed. That is what God is saying about Israel. Isn't it absolutely marvelous? Isn't it incredible? God's promises and God's covenant to Israel, to the Jewish people stands. But the enemies of Israel, they don't stop. They scheme and they plot attacks every single day. I want to give an update on the situation around the Gaza Strip because on the third day in a row, thousands of people are not allowed literally to leave their communities. Some of them are not allowed to leave their houses, literally on a lockdown because Israel arrested a high ranking uh, members terrorist of Islamic Jihad. He was in Jenin. He was controlling literally everything that was going on in Judea and Samaria for these terrorists. He was the contact person to the terrorists inside the Gaza Strip. He was um, uh, funding, he was distributing funds to all of these terrorists. He was a key player and Israel arrested him and uh, his son-in-law about three days ago. Not killed, they were arrested. But Israel knew that this could potentially lead to retaliations. So that's why Israel immediately put the areas around the Gaza Strip on high alert. Because if and when rockets are start flying, they only have 10 seconds to find shelters. Farmers are not allowed to go work in their fields. Uh, the beach in that area is closed. Tourist sites are closed. And yes, people are still not allowed to leave their houses. Islamic Jihad in Jenin came out and made a threatening video uh, re re promising revenge, um, but so far things are quiet. Israel is leaning heavily on people from Egypt. Uh, they are always the negotiator between the terrorists in the Gaza Strip and Israel. So Israel is leaning on the, the people from Egypt. They are leaning on Hamas and Hamas is leaning on Islamic Jihad because we know what initially happens out of Gaza is always being, being approved by Hamas. They are the one who is in charge. Um, reports are coming out that the terrorists inside the Gaza Strip are not interested in an escalation with Israel. But they are demanding that the family of this terrorist who was arrested is, uh, is being informed that he's healthy, that he's doing good. They want Israel to stop all military action in Judea and Samaria, which of course is never going to happen. And uh, there's another terrorist who has been on a hunger strike for many days. They want uh, Israel to take care of him and improve his situation. So there's a lot of negotiation going on back and forth. So far, it's still quiet around the Gaza Strip. Israel has a lot of unarmed uh, aircraft in the air uh, above Gaza, ready to shoot down um, any rockets or anyone trying to pop out of the blue and try to uh, attack Israel with rockets. So it is still high, high tense. I mean, I can go uh, take the bus, go shopping. Uh, the people in that area are still in many places confined to their houses, literally only because Israel arrested a high ranking terrorist members of Islamic Jihad. So how are your day going? How is your day going wherever you are around the world? Because this is the situation here in Israel. We know that these terrorist groups are planning and scheming attacks every single day. That's why the IDF is out doing these uh, operations every night. And also again last night, they were out attacking, uh, uh, not attacking, arresting uh, terrorists throughout Judea and Samaria because they are constantly plotting attacks and they are armed to the teeth like a full force army. So I'm making this update because I want to encourage all the friends of Zion, all the friends of Israel around the world to know that this is what's going on. It's still very, very tense 
Uh, there's a lot going on behind the scenes. Israel knows who to contact, who to negotiate with uh, to try and calm things down. This game has been going on for years and years and years. Also this morning when uh, Memories is coming up on my Facebook and I'm looking down one year, two, three, five, seven, ten. You know, I'm looking, rockets were flying from Gaza, rockets were flying from Gaza. Um, people were killed in terror attacks. It happens on and on and on and on and on. Um, that's the situation. The Jewish people are home. They're thriving. They're strong. But they are still being attacked simply for being Jews living in the sanctity of their own home. What can we do about it? We can speak up against it. We can speak the truth. We can speak about the Bible is true. This is what God said to Abraham. God made this covenant. This land belongs to the Jewish people. As a matter of fact, Israel is tiny, tiny, tiny right now compared to the the, boundary, the boundaries or the, the borders that Israel got from gate that Israel got from God. Uh, Israel is much, much bigger than the tiny little nation that I have right now. And that is what the Palestinians want to divide. Not because they want a two-state solution, not because they want a Palestinian state and they want a Jewish state next to each other. No, no. It's all about from the river to the sea, Palestine should be free. So Israel has no other option to be strong to be strong, to be strong, to protect her people, to guard the boundaries, uh, the borders of Israel and not give away any land. So please share out this video as I know a lot of people don't hear about this in your mainstream media because that is how you support Israel by sharing the truth out of Zion. Have a wonderful day everybody and God bless Israel. Bye.